Hello, I was at uh, Mini Air Show 5 last month and one of the things I tried to highlight in my video is something uh, a guy called Lewis or Lurgy FPV was doing in the tent. He was building some little mini woovers with kids of his own designs and he was also flying about this tiny little wing come quad thing. Um, and if you watched, uh, I didn't capture it in my video itself, but if you watched the episode of Let's Drown Out from Mini Air Show, which was a little bit hectic and out of control, you may have seen it going about with a little sparkler in it. Uh, and uh, I talked to him about it and said, well, what, what is this? I, I, I want one. Because uh, I thought it was something he came up with. He was very keen to stress it wasn't his design, but he pointed me to where I could get it and uh, sort of took me through how it was to build it and it sounds pretty easy. So certainly check out his channel because he's doing loads of interesting things. There's a link down below. Um, and what you can do is basically build this little wing thing out of some old toy quad. It just so happens that I have a spare quad. It's the world's most annoying quad ever. It was this thing for Christmas and I got one and I gave it away to a friend and then like another one turned up. They're like a viral thing. And if you're thinking, hey, why do you want to take this quad apart? It's so cool looking. Here's the answer. Yeah, sure, it's fun at Christmas, but I'm going to take great pleasure in cutting the speaker out of that and doing something else with it. Okay, so first things first. First, go over to Thingiverse and search for badass drones, and I'll, I'll put a link down below, and you will find there's these little templates. You can print them out, and they look like this, and you'd print the other side out, and then you'd cut them out, and you might do what I did, which was to stick them together like this. And then you need to cut out these holes as your template, because what you're going to do then is put it on something, and cut round it to uh, make your template. And then what we're gonna do is take this apart so the circular ducts go there and there. And then we're gonna lean the rear ones back just slightly so we get some forward thrust as we go forward and then it acts like a wing. It kind of, it doesn't really fly like a wing but it sort of is a bit like one because you always got that forward momentum going. Lurgy built his from quite thin Depron. I don't have any, but I do have some foam board. Foam board's a bit heavier, but it's not super heavy, so I'm gonna get that installed on a piece of foam board, I'm gonna cut it out, and let's take it from there. Okay, so what I've got here is just a piece of uh, off-cut foam board, and I've just tacked the little template out there with a bit of tape. I haven't um, cut out the circle bits yet. I thought I'd do those with a sort of smaller knife when I do the main cutting. All I'm gonna use for the main cutting, cutting board, certainly seems better days, this one. One of these knives which is a nice long blade that will that will cut through quite nicely you can get these from the pound shop the dirt cheap and a ruler this doesn't show up very well but i've put a little thin leading edge thing the i think the idea was to try and make a slight airfall shape which doesn't really work on this and it said on the instructions to trim down the end here again i think trying to make the end thinner rather than take a knife i've just pinched them down anyway that's that's that it's it's a bit rough don't beat yourself up if you don't get the holes proper it doesn't really matter and we've got a template to use for next time next thing we get to pull apart this now one crucial thing about when you pull your quad apart, uh, figure out which is forward because you need to transplant it with the, the right motors in the right places else it's not going to work very well. So as soon as you just do that before you take it apart, it will all become easy. And now this thing should be pretty easy. Take that off and it's just a case of taking the board out, shoving it underneath and putting the um, these little bits on. Interestingly, in my case, the ducks aren't separate, they're actually fixed on there. I'm going to have to uh, just trim these out to get it in a position so I can actually put it on. Snippy snip time. Great pleasure in finally removing the speaker. Ha ha ha. So here I've got my removed bits and you see I've got some rough bits here. You can take those down if you want but it's not really going to matter because essentially all we're going to do here is shove these through and get them in there and there's a little bit of play you've got with um, the foam there especially with these rear bits because what we're going to do we're going to basically angle not a huge amount like five or ten degrees just to get some forward momentum there and basically we're just going to glue those in uh, with some hot glue 
uh, just make sure you pass all your motor wires through because on the underside is where we're going to put the little flight controller that we took off. There is my motors in place and I've just put some glue on the underside of these ones. These ones a little bit more because they had an angle and I've just put a little bit at the back here. You'll notice my rear two motors don't really line up. I've sunken that one a little bit more and that one's stuck out a bit. But they're at approximately the same angle which I hope is about 10 degrees. We'll find out once we connect it up. Now what I try to do is make sure as well that all my leads were in the better position to try and get over here because they're quite small and we of course have to reach the flight controller so we'll attempt to plug all those in and stick that on and make sure we get room for the battery to go through from the top here so that's next and here it is finished article so we've got the ducts in we've got the flight control at the back it only just reached these rear motors it's a little bit messy, it feels a little bit heavy to me, but um, we'll give it a go. I've charged up this little 250. Um, it's not the original battery which came with this one, the other one was a bit fat and felt even heavier, so I thought if I get this longer, thinner one, I can sort of maybe move it forward if I need to. And the little antenna from the flight controls up there, I don't think that's a, a big issue really, because you know we're not going to be going very far, but yeah, <laughs> let's plug it in and see what happens now. Okay, what's gonna happen? Hopefully I'm looking in the right direction. Oh, wants to go. I feel suddenly I've got absolutely zero space. Oh, it's going. <laughs> it's got no glide ratio. I suppose that was to be expected. It's not really a... The, uh, the yaw on this one's a little bit crazy. Oh, it's coming at me. Oh. <laughs> so the basic flying was okay, but I did keep getting into these wobbles where it seemed to oscillate and it wasn't able to recover from it for some reason. So I had a quick word with Lurgy, just checking if he'd had this before. And he said, try getting the battery more forward because the foam board's heavier than Depron. So my problem was I had this battery connector, I couldn't move my battery forward anymore. But what I managed to do is remove that little plastic tab and solder a little extension on. And this gave me a lot more space to be able to move my battery as far forward as I wanted to. After that point, the wing flew an awful lot better. It still had a little wobble, but it, it didn't basically oscillate and carry on sort of gaining momentum. It was able to recover from it. So the key to these things is to try and get them as light as possible. So five mil foam board, which I've got, is gonna weigh probably at least twice as much as three mil Depron. And if you can build it lighter, you will get rid of those little oscillations and, and little wobbles. But as you can see here, it's just flying around the house and um, I'm having a, a bit of fun with it. And that's really all it is. I mean, it's not a proper wing. Uh, but it's not quite a quad either. You've got some forward momentum. You haven't got any glide ratio. There's no aerodynamics in this thing. But it's just a bit of fun. And if you've got, you know, one of these old toy quads with um, 6mm or 7mm little motors that you're not sort of messing around with anymore, then why not have a bit of a fun project and just transform it into something else? But as I say, if you can go really light, like 3mm, 3mm foam board's probably not too bad, or 3mm Depron, then you will do a lot better than this one. But that's my little bit of a, a, a fun project, which I had fun doing, and I hope you do too if you give it a go and uh, check it out yourself. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful and fun, and I'll catch you next one. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing, and if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.